13 years ago, almost to the day, I discovered I had type 1 diabetes. I chose to approach it one day at a time. Type 1 diabetes is something you can't escape. But I knew that I had to take the initiative. The only person that was going to help me was me. Every person with diabetes has their own medicine. Cycling was mine. I've always been in love with the outdoors, with the mountains, since I was a child. My father was a mountaineer. It's in my blood. The outdoors called to me, so I trained as a lumberjack. When I was diagnosed, it was just natural that the outdoors and exercise would be my escape. I have never looked back. My fitness was good, my insulin control was good, I thought I had everything I needed. Then one day, I discovered triathlons. Since I was a child, I was afraid of water. So by taking on this challenge, I felt like I was not only managing with diabetes, I was thriving with it. And running took me to places I could never have pictured in my wildest dreams. Then the next step, of course, was the Ironman my training had to go to another level. At the end of the race, after almost 12 hours of effort, I was so proud. When I started, it was all about the challenge. But I know that the most important thing I can do is help others. My dream is to train other people with diabetes and inspire them to use sport to live their lives to the fullest. When you discover you have a life-changing illness, you might think that the wheels are coming off. But I want to show people that mine are still spinning, faster than ever. <laughs>